That's the biggest bluegill I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna go weightless Stanko. See how that does. Oh, there's a bass right there. Let's see if he goes for the weightless Stanko. Oh, he had it. Oh, well, we know there's bass in here. Oh, there's a bite. He's running with it. Gonna let him eat it. There he is. <laughs> First bass of the day. Calm down, boy. I saw him. He was roaming the shore and I missed him two times. But here he is. Nice little guy. He was roaming right here. Walked up on him. Cast it out there. Oh, okay, calm down. There he goes. Welcome back to another episode, guys. Uh, today, we are exploring new ponds. Right now, I'll show clips of the pond that I was just at. Looked picture perfect, ended up talking to a guy afterwards. He said he just dredged it this past year. So uh, there's probably no fish in there. I've come here once before, never caught anything. And I've just been trying to find some fish at different places so I don't get repetitive with my channel. And today is just one of those days where I'm gonna go out and hunt for some new ponds. This one is, as you can see, well, you can't see because there's a hill, but these are all cornfields around me. I found it on Google Maps. That is one of my best friends while searching for ponds. That's pretty much our plan for today. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. That was the first fish of the day. Hopefully I can get some more out of here. I know there's a few fish in here. I saw some last time I came, couldn't hook into any. I think I came when it was a little bit cooler. But right now I'm just throwing a weightless stanko and seeing if I can whack a couple fish. Oh, there was a fish right there. I should have let him eat a, bit, a little bit longer. Here's a bite, guys. Here's a bite. Oh, I missed him. He didn't feel too big. I think he just grabbed it from the tail. There was a fish jump way out there. I should start casting out pretty far. Surprise there freaking hitting top water already it's kind of funny oh come on now they're out there that's two two times I got bites right on the drop out of three casts Let's see if this is a pattern every other cast they're gonna hit it on the fall yep and I missed them again come on you know you want it He's just chilling out there. There he is again. Nope, missed him again. this pond over here I don't know if you can see it on the camera yet but you're about to see it but this is uh, two days after I just filmed that one catch and I'm continuing my journey on searching for new ponds in this case I'm in the middle of a field across from a farm the farm is back over there I don't know if this is their property uh, the farms on the other side of the road so I'm not really sure but I didn't see any signs coming in so I'm gonna call it if they tell if they kick me out, I mean I'll be respectful, but I didn't see any signs, so I'm gonna go for it. And yeah, I'm gonna try to catch some fish. Looking for some new spots for the channel. This is definitely one of the coolest ponds I've been to. I think the screen is kind of blocking the windshield or the, the microphone so the wind doesn't hit it. If I'm lucky that's the case, because it's pretty pretty windy out. Anyways, we're I'm heading back now. It was just too shallow. It looked like it was only like a foot deep, so moving on. Gonna go on Google Maps, try to find some other honey holes. Alright, so I know this isn't a new pond. I've been here before. Once though. I've only been here once. I have fished here two years ago I think it was and the whole pond was green 
So this is definitely gonna be different. I'm gonna just leave my camera right here and just kind of scope this bank here. I got a weightless Senko, clear water. So this is going to be perfect. I got a natural color on here, green pumpkin. And there's a bass right there already. Oh my God, big bass, big freaking bass. All right, well, I know there's big bass in here now. Freaking slam my camera down. Oh, he ate it. Oh, I had him. Did he swim away? Oh, he's right there. Oh, dude, he had it. He looked right up at him. Not a bad one. There we go. Not a bad little chunk. He's got something down his throat. I can't really tell what it is. Chunky bass. Look how chunky that is, guys. Woo. A little bit above average for this pond. Awesome. All right, guys, we are on day three here trying to finish this video it's been rough i mean the water's still cold i came here i think this would be a good pond because this is a generally shallow pond so yesterday the water was about not the water the air temperature got up to i think 82 degrees so i think in small ponds like this where fish have the potential to start looking to spawn they'll be moving up shallow to see if uh, some of these fish are actually starting to eat. And I've been here for a couple minutes and nailed my first one. Oh, there's another bite right there. Fish on, second cast right after that one, or first cast right after that one. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He's nothing, nothing uh, to brag about, but he's still a fish. Oh yeah, definitely a little dink. Nothing huge, just a little dink. Fish on. Right on the fall. Lady's <laughs> a little dink again. <laughs> That's a uh, water ski him in here. There he goes. Sweet. Number three. All right, GoPro just ran out of memory. I got to go in the truck and delete some. Uh, delete some videos. I thought that would be a good time to pack up, move on to the next spot. This is pond number four of the video. This is going decent. You know, it, it's the beginning of the season. I've caught four fish in this video. It's taking a little bit longer than they usually do, but you know, I can't complain when I'm catching some bass. What the heck? Is that like small, small bass? There's something. Got him. <laughs> They're still tiny. 
But I knew I would get him on this. Ah, these little guys. Jeez, they don't like to grow. That is probably the smallest bass I've caught in a long time. Well, I mean, might as well stay, you know? Small bass is better than no bass. Well guys, that is all for today. Uh, well, that's all for this weekend, pretty much. I, uh, I was fishing all weekend. I started Friday. Uh, we had the day off for Good Friday. Uh, Saturday, did I go anywhere Saturday? I don't think I went fishing Saturday. Uh, I had a bunch of stuff to do. Sunday, went fishing, and today I went fishing. I have work later on, so I can't be fishing too much longer. We caught a handful of fish, nothing qual that quality, I would say. Uh, the first fish was probably a little bit under a pound. Uh, the first fish I caught today was probably a pound, maybe a little bit under. All in all, like, I'm just glad to be back to fishing. Open water. I can't stand the cold. This warm weather is really like, just making me in like the best mood. If you guys live in New England like I do, you guys know the feeling. Anyways guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.